Hi everyone and welcome to this video in my series about symbols that are used in the gothic subculture. Today I'm going to talk about the cross of St. Peter or the inverted cross or the upside down cross or however you may want to call it. I'm going to tell you a little bit about its history and origins. So obviously the cross the other way around, so like this way around, has a Christian meaning and a Christian origin for most people or a Christian connotation for most people in the world, I'd say. So the inverted cross also has a Christian background. St. Peter was crucified and didn't want to die or didn't want to be crucified in the same way that Jesus was because he didn't feel he was worthy to be crucified the same way as Jesus and so he demanded to be crucified upside down. That's why it's called the cross of St. Peter or the Petrine cross. So why do many people think or many people use it as an anti-Christian symbol or a satanic symbol? Well, obviously, I mean, the most obvious thing is that if you invert the prime symbol of Christianity, then this might mean the complete reversal or rejection of everything that the original symbol means. It could be read as anti-Christian or anti-religious or what I've read the most and what I would agree with most is it's an anti-authoritarian sign or symbol. Anti-authoritarian in the sense of not wanting to be oppressed or repressed by religion or by religious rules or beliefs or people who try to force their beliefs and their rule system on you. So this um, anti-authoritarian meaning dates back to about the 19th century as I've read it and I've, I'm giving you the sources down below so you can see for yourself. And it happened through the French occult revival. There are apparently an occultist named um, Eugene Ventress used the symbol for his faith or for his um, group of faith which he called the Church of Carmel. Now if you type in Church of Carmel into Google there's one song that comes up but nothing much really so it doesn't seem to still be a thing but he um, was part of the whole French occult revival movement back then. So in the 19th century. So as I've read it, for him, the um, I, I'm calling it the Christian cross now, um, meant a reign of suffering because it stood for, you know, not only the crucified Jesus, but also the rules and oppressive system of, you know, Christianity in the 19th century which also meant oppression of sexuality, basically a lot of regulations that he wasn't going to stand for. He said that the inverted cross now not means the reign of suffering, but the reign of love. And it must have stood for um, freedom of sexuality or he wanted freedom of sexuality. And I've read that he was apparently conducting messes where he was masturbating at the altar and stuff. I'm not 100% sure if this is true, but generally it seems to be a, a cult or a, a group of occultists who celebrated the freedom of sexuality in opposition to the restrictions in sexuality in the 19th century Christian system which I think fits in well with the general anti-authoritarian meaning that is associated with the inverted cross. And now as I, as I read this article, I found that um, it also mentions Alistair Crowley being in Paris at the turn of the century. So he might have picked it up while he was in Paris because this whole occultist revival movement happened in France and that's where he might have picked it up. So every one of you who knows more about this, please get the discussion started. I love, love, love the discussion section, the comment section in the symbol videos because it's so cool to see everyone bringing their knowledge together and discussing it and I can learn a lot from you. I just want to bring this discussion, you know, I just want to start this discussion and now we can all discuss further in the comments below. So leave your comments, leave your knowledge for everyone to read. 
and for me to discuss with you <laughs> and yeah i hope you liked this video if you liked it um, give it a thumbs up check out all the other videos in the symbol series i'll leave the link to the um, playlist down below i think maybe i'll tag it here or somewhere i don't know and yeah follow my channel if you don't do so yet so you won't miss an episode of the symbol series in the future and yeah thank you very much for watching and see you soon in another video bye